Hello everyone, this is Brass Herald, and today we are Let's Trying Sid Meier's Pirates. A pirate game. In case you could not tell by the name, first thing we have to do is change our sails and flags because we need a nifty sail and a nifty flag up there. And of course, we can't go so that they... You know, we want to be undercover, so we're going to pick the Jolly Rogers because no one can figure out that that has a pirate. No pirate can be that stupid, right? And here is our story. There is a story to this game. It, uh, I don't know how well it actually stays to this story, but it starts off with a, pi with a party. Of course, we're, we should just be the ones crashing this party, because this is a pirate game. But, we aren't. One thing I will say is the music is very nice. I, I do like how it uh, goes with the mood very well. And of course, the Marquis, or Marcus. I'm gonna call him the Marcus because we're going to mention him, like, twice in this whole fucking video. So the stupid Marcus wants us to be slaves, apparently. And we run right into him. We're very coordinated, apparently. Hey, he has a Jolly Roger, too. And so the brave young Scion escaped our fate. And there we go, that's basically the full setup for this story. Now we have ten years later, we're an adult. And we do not wear shoes. Also, we don't wear non-ripped shirts. We have to go to a tavern to talk to the barkeep. I, I guess I do be looking for passage to the Americas. Incognito the Pirate. Pretty fucking sucky name. We're gonna be Biff. Biff the Pirate. That's a classy name, isn't it? And so we gotta choose which uh, country to align with. We have the French, Spanish, Dutch, and English. We're choosing based on Hat, because Hat is directly corresponding to how you awesome of a pirate you yes. are. The Dutch have the best Hat, therefore, best pirates. Also, the Flying Dutchman doesn't hurt. I guess the English would have... Did they have Blackbeard? I think so. Thank you for kicking my butt, apparently. Got that nice shark tooth that is a texture on my skin, apparently. And our medallion disappears. So, briefly, while this mutiny is going on, I will... I guess I can give a short description of Pirates. It was an old, um... I think DOS game? Where, basically... You were a pirate, and this is actually the updated version that you can get on Steam for something like $20. I will look that up for sure when I make the post. Um, and now Biff, Mighty Pirate, has his own ship. Captain Biff. So we make our way into the Caribbean, or Caribbean, depending on whether you're watching the Pirates of the Caribbean movie or riding the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. I don't understand why they have two different pronunciations of the same word. My destiny awaits me. At least it's not a compass that doesn't point north. Then it would just be like, uh, I guess Disney stole all of this. Because this was before Curse of the Black Pearl. So we're visiting St. Eustatius? 
y you can see some pretty awesome stuff here. Uh, have a few choices. We're going to visit the nice chubby governor. The letter of Mark author authorizes us to plunder Spanish ships for the Dutch. Uh, we'll actually see the effect of that later on, though I didn't show it off as well as I could have. But yeah, they direct us to the nearest enemy city because most Spanish ships are going to be going to Spanish cities. Makes sense, right? So, let's visit the tavern. We need to get drunk, don't we? have a couple of choices here. Obviously, our first choice is going to be... Uh, where do I pick it? The whore. <laughs> okay, she's a barmaid, but I wanted to hit on her and it didn't go over well. Next, I'll s see the shady guy in the back. You can buy a treasure chest. They're usually selling something. You'll see later on, it seems like they have the same thing for sale for a while. Um, I didn't go into the treasure map, did not have enough time in this. And you're always going to have in the tavern people to recruit. You can, that, that's actually pretty awesome. Um, I did not read what it said at the bottom. Oh. So yeah, once once you get the letter of mark, that's actually gonna help you recruit people, I guess. You can go to the merchant. Uh, this is basic for any trade simulator. Yeah, uh, food you're basically never gonna sell. Um, I think I paid for a shitload of trading stuff and then like never sold it. Also, my mouse kind of got stuck. Uh, that's why I have two tons. So yeah, I think this is pretty standard for any trade simulator. And I ended up with four tons of everything, didn't I? Or three? There we go. Uh, you check with the shipwright. Uh, they upgrade your ships, they repair them. There's not much to do here. I was I thought I could get the chain shot and grape shot. You can't see my mouse, but I was trying to get them. Check status is eh. Uh, limited use. So you can sail away, and then I was trying to figure out how to fucking sail, and I went right into an English city. Thus is the fate of a let's try and not a full let's play. Mr. Biff! In past. So, it's kind of cool. The English and the Dutch are working together, so basically I have free reign to attack Spanish and get fame or fortune from both of them. So, that's actually fairly useful information. You get a shitload of gold if you uh, attack the Cataluna. You know, you have to Arnica. use these rumors to the fullest. Shudarna. Shudarna. So you can get a ruby right now. Um, 11 sold. 11. Pirates to my crew of 64, bringing us up to 75. Yay! A and so, I didn't have anything else to do, and at this point, I am learning how to sail a ship. It turns pretty fast. This is a nice ship you start with. Uh, you can attack a ship once you get in range. I was in range of a Dutch ship, but I didn't want to do that, so I waited till I was on the Cataluna. And here's the first thing of combat we have. You're trying to hit them with cannons, they're trying to hit you with cannons. Um, you'll see now I switched to chain shot. I didn't know much about combat at this point, but I shot them like twice before. Oh. Maybe three times before I crashed into them. 
and crashing into them basically wins. Um, so you can take all their shit. Yep, D did I take it all? Yes, I did. So I took it all. I, You can keep the ship if you beat them. Uh, if you total them, you're going to have to repair it. So yeah, I have two ships now. And of course, there's... You don't have to attack. You can change your flagship. I, I think I show that off a bit later on. Oh. Uh, I was looking for a map here. So, here's... Here's our map, our, our basic map screen. Not much to show here. Uh, and of course I'm here for far too long. Biff the pirate not be good at maps. That was a pretty poor pirate voice, even for me. I have no clue what Governor Point is. I tried to went, go there. Didn't work. Also, I'm on the Dutch's side still. I am not raiding any Dutch in this video. I'm mostly just attacking Spanish shit. Um, did I attack these people? I, I think I ended up being scared. So here's me switching flagships. Basically, they're going to put as... Um, your flagship is going to have as many people as they can so that you can run each of the other ships. I think each ship has a minimum amount of people to run. Um, oh, that Spanish raider is going to raid St. Martin. That actually explains something later on. Something I missed, you will see in a little bit, and I'll point it out to you. So we're going to San Juan with our formerly Spanish ship, now pirate ship. No one would be able to tell, though. Who, who knows what Jolly Rogers is mean? So the first thing you do all the time, talk to the governor. I, I thought he might be upset with me for attacking his ships. So, yeah, now, now the Spanish want us to attack the English and the Dutch. Like, apparently we are just an asshole who will do anything. Mr. Biff had to leave, though. So you can trade with the merchant, of course. Oh, I did sell shit. Like, luxuries. I had 13 tons. Um... have 48 tons of sugar. So, even for a somewhat low price, I sold it just to clear up the tons, because you do have a limited amount of tonnage. Good to know, right? And then I went, Ahoy! I be leaving now. Visiting the tavern. The first thing to do, recruit to our crew. Bring us up to an even hundred. The Dullard's Walk is carrying over a thousand in gold. Now, this one actually shows that the Dullard's Walk is... Closer. Um, last time you couldn't really tell because Cataluna, I think it was, was very close to the port. You can still buy that ruby ring. It looks as if, basically, until you buy it, you're just going to get offers for it forever. Um, I was trying out visiting places again to see if anything changed. No, not at all. So, there's no use in visiting someplace twice when you're in a port. And of course, I have a new ship. This ship cannot fight, apparently. So, I decided, hey, I'd better get some bronze cannons, I guess. Eventually, I decided that. Uh, there we go. So yeah, now we have bronze cannons, we have chain shot, we have grape shot on our smaller ship. Uh, I think I use that as my flagship for the most part, because this one kind of sucks in battle, even though it looks better. You can rename your ships, but I did not. 
And this is me just trying to decide between them. Yeah, Blade Point there. Uh, I should have checked it out, but there was a storm over it. And they're saying wait for them. Oh, Dullard's Walk. We were just told about that. Um, it looks to me as if they do have a way that other ships will attack. Because if you look, the Dullard's Walk is starting off with pretty damaged sails. Um, would make sense to me if perhaps a Spanish ship came by and said, Hey, we're gonna attack you, and then probably lost. A and notice my great fighting where I missed them completely the first shot. Um, I would look up what each shot does, but that did not work. <laughs> so we won. We actually got 14 sailors who wanted to join our crew. A thousand gold pieces and some loot. And uh, I was about to sink her for the terrible sails, but... You know, 25 tons of extra cargo is pretty good. I, I don't think I sink anything in this video, because I, I just want the biggest fleet I can. So, now I'm playing around with sails. Uh, I don't know why they asked me this, but I was setting sail for... Oh, there's a pirate. Um, I should have paid more attention. Uh, I was setting sail for St. Martin. I believe it's Martin and not just St. Martin. I'm trying to be correct in my pronunciations here, thank you. So until we get there, I, I guess I will sing a nice sea shanty. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Okay. Anyway, notice St. Martin is now a poor Dutch stronghold. Remember the raiders I was talking about before? I'm fairly sure what it's implied is the Spanish raiders came and raided here, and that's why they're poor. Um... I come in and I am clearly the wealthiest man in town, so I buy a shitload of food. I buy like all their fucking food. It's cheap. They're not selling any- they're not buying anything for much. I I'm just trying to help the economy here. Uh, you also have fine green powder, which I didn't find out what that means on that newest ship, the Dullard's Wa. Uh -huh. This seems like a pretty decent ship. I think I used it later. Huh. So... Oh, did, was that where... At one point they gave, gave me the rank of captain. Yeah, that was it. So... Now it's Captain Biff, the pirate. And of course, I'm going through really quickly. I probably should have slowed down, but eh. So, now I sail away. Spanish smugglers here. What type of pirate would pass up this chance to attack them? Not me. And they take the first shot, and I sail right into them. And I totally miss my first shot, so... I think this uh, fight's going well, right? <laughs> you can, of course, change the view. I like the top-down view better for battle, the other one better for navigation. So, there you go. I hit them. And here's a new feature, they sail into me, and what do we get, but... Uh, uh, when it, when it comes... Fighting. Y you'll see that 
uh, there are things flashing when he's about to make an attack. You're supposed to be hitting them, but I picked up on that way too late. Uh, you can taunt him. I don't know what the taunting does. That was kind of cool for him. I, I think if we both thrust, that's actually what happens. And I knock him into the fire. We win! Yeah. See, Biff is a pretty nice guy. He's letting him swim away. 12,000... Uh, 1,298. 12,098 gold would be ridiculous. And, of course, we do that. Uh, we would get a promotion if we went to either of those. But, of course, me being an asshole, I go, Hey, I can take on a Spanish war galleon. Why not? Uh... Uh, I guess you're gonna see how well this goes, but I think you could probably guess, um... Which one do I go with? Do I go with the sloop? Oh no, I go with the smallest fucking ship to take on the... the biggest thing. Uh, that's great, isn't it? Um... <laughs> so yeah, Spanish War Galleon with 200 crew, 12 guns, and here I am, I'm just traveling faster than them. That's about all I have on them. And we're in a fight. 52 pi 42 pirates to 200 Spaniards. 38, oh god, we are losing pirates like nothing. It, we barely do damage. Spoiler, I'm gonna lose this, cause this was a stupid idea on my part. I should have just let them be. That makes me laugh, at least, uh, when they... <laughs> uh, it, you know, this game does have some nice humor. It's the second pirate game I've played with really good humor. First one, of course, is Secret of Monkey Island. Uh, I'd say both of these are good games if you like pirates. So, what happens? But we get jailed. We have no shoes again, by the way. They have taken our shoes, captured and locked away. Is this the end for Biff? I'm not paying a guard to get out. I'm going to stay around here. This may be the end of Biff. Three months later. I can sneak out of town. Does Biff get out of town? Who knows? Actually, you'll know in a bit, because I actually did finish this. The camera is kind of terrible. Um, it moves way too fast, in my opinion. You can hide behind bales of hay. And I don't see any guards at all. Oh, hold down shift key to run. Of course, I didn't do that. And... So Biff is quietly sneaking through. Try climbing over walls, they're telling me. So I go, okay, I'm going to sneak past the no guards that are here. And look, there's a pirate crew. Gee, I, won I wonder if they're friends. I'm going to jump over the wall to them. And Biff is out of San Juan. Recent escape from prison aside, the story of Biff is done. Thank you for joining me.